Hey, welcome back. You are watching TVU's Most Wanted. We are in Times Square, and as promised, House of Heroes joining me on the show. And they just got right into the New York culture, man. That's right. Well, hold, on, hold on. Three, two, happy New Year! Hey! Would you be, I'd be real. I'd be really concerned if the ball drops in April. That would concern me. That would be me. concerning. That being said, though, we're not going to have another ball drop, right? The Mayans were right. So That's true, yeah. Might as well just get it in now. Colin, how's the dog, man? It's pretty good. It's a hot dog. Do you normally get hot dogs from the vendors when you come to New York? I don't think I ever have, no. I've gotten in other cities, but never here. What'd you get on your dog, Colin? Just got up with mustard. <laughs> Traditional dog. If you don't mind me asking, how much was the dog? They were three bucks a piece. Well, that's not oh, bad. Oh, I got one earlier for a buck. Did you really? Yeah. You got ripped off. It's because we're in Times Square. We are in, yeah. They charge Location off. dependent. Yeah. How's your dog? Is that all right? I, I mean, it's good. I, I, it's good. What I'd expect from a, a road, buying a hot dog on a road. Man, the, AJ, AJ had something earlier. What'd you what have? did you have? Oh, yeah, a kebab. It was good. I had a shish kebab, but then it came in like a sandwich. So it was like a sandwich kebab. It was actually really delicious. Yeah. Wow. It sounds like the hot dog was not the best choice, gentlemen. I mean, you look like you're enjoying that hot dog, but... Don't give me the buyer's remorse, ma'am. <laughs> Do you feel bad about your purchase? A little bit now. Oh, okay. I was just saying, because you don't look like you feel bad about your purchase. It's, it's cushioning the, the hurt. <laughs> the, uh, there, there aren't rave reviews, though, and I thought when you come to New York, the street vendors, like the street meat is where it's at, right? But uh, you haven't given me some rave reviews here. <laughs> that, not. That's true. That Could is where it's at better. in New York. <laughs> yeah. And otherwise. We are in Times Square with House of Heroes. Dogs are gone. Good. Solid. Yeah. You guys yeah. feeling rejuvenated, ready Full. to go? Absolutely. Strong. Full street meat. It's wonderful. Hey, Full Colin. Of street you got meat. a little uh, guy on you here. Yeah. That's my mustache, man. <laughs> All right, so Colin, I specifically want to talk to you about something. Uh, I follow you on Instagram. And the last two Instagrams, maybe there was another one mixed in there, had to do with bathrooms. One is all of you guys in the bathroom. Tim, you actually took one of those as well. I did. And then the other was looked like some Walmart bathroom that you had to pay for? You didn't have to pay for the bathroom, but it was just a mysterious metal box with a said $1 and it had a slot and a button. That's it. <laughs> No indication as to what the product could be <laughs> a behind the door. Mystery surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me that you tried it. I had zero quarters. Oh, and there was, come on, man. There was no dollar slot. Oh, so you guys left that mystery box alone. Well, it was midnight and we were in Walmart. I didn't really want to hang out any longer than I had to in a Walmart <laughs> in Baltimore at midnight. And in the bathroom, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the worst. We just the wanted to get Eric his deodorant. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you guys took the other bathroom pick, that was in our hotel here at Times Square. Was there anybody else in the bathroom when you guys snapped those pictures? Yeah. I don't think so. It's just okay. that we, I mean, we all five had to pee really bad, so we went in and we said, oh, look at that, five urinals. Okay. And we were just like, man, and there's we, five we're, of us. We're just a regular bunch of, uh, I don't know, something. Guys <laughs> peeing in a urinal. Peeing guys. <laughs> And both of you thought that was worth documenting as well. Like, that's important. That's, that's right. a moment for the band. It's necessary. Yes, it yeah. is. It keeps our face in the public eye, you know. Okay, right. <laughs> oh, you know what? Speaking of keeping your face in the public eye, I have realized how to launch your guys' career to the next level. Go on. Okay, so We've been looking for this for 10 years now. All right, cool. I got it. So we're in <laughs> Times Square here, and right behind our cameras, there's a huge billboard for American Eagle. And you can go in the basement and have your picture taken, and they will put you on that billboard. Really? Yeah. Really? Really? How much you got to pay for that? I think it's free because they've been rotating different pictures all day. So it's only up there for like 15 seconds. But for those 15 seconds, you're going to get like 400 people to see you. Wow. Is it cool if we take our shirts off? Yeah, like, I mean, that's like, going to make more people look, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it, it would fit with what's going on behind us. <laughs> and we would look awesome. <laughs> That's the big deal. We would look awesome. All right, well, if you want to launch your career, maybe we should just go do that a little bit later. Hey, welcome back. It's TVU's Most Wanted House of Heroes is here in New York. We're actually in Times Square, and whatever that squeaking was, that sounded like a, ta a taxi? 
They need no. to get their brakes checked. It's, it's a, it's a bus that slamming that into the back of a taxi, nearly slamming into the back of five people that just don't know what they're doing. Tim, you're not. I am so distracted here. There is so much going on. People are singing happy birthday over there. There's pigeons flying. Well, not flying all over the place. They're walking. Yeah, right. The screens keep changing. And portly. What? Oh, that won't change. <laughs> what? You just so, got to keep up. You guys have been to New York before. You're not first timers, correct? Yeah, we've all been here before. Uh, yeah, we've okay. all been here before. So if you guys have all been here before, is there something you look forward to doing when you come back to New York? Um, playing a show is always good. Yeah. Boring. Uh, <laughs> Other than that, I look forward to just the smells of life. There's good odors. It's a potpourri, really. It's a potpourri. <laughs> You know, it's funny, we're talking about taxis and potpourri. I read and rode in my first taxi ever since we've been here. How'd that go? It smelled like vomit, actually. And not, that sounds about right. Not just any vomit. This was a minivan taxi, and it smelled like yellow school bus kid vomit with that powder on it. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, you got to try to cover it up at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't mask the smell. I think it makes the smell worse. How cool would it have been if it was the cash cab? Oh, man. We were thinking about that, actually. We were hoping. It didn't end up being the cash cab, but then we thought they'd have probably had us turn our cameras off. So Yeah, probably. We would yeah. have told everybody we were on the cash cab, and they'd have been like, no way. Can't believe that. So it didn't Well, see, here's out. the thing about New York. I think that it's, it's much cooler in theory, and it's cooler after the fact, too. You're like, man, we, but while you're here, you're just like... Where am I going to park? I, I got to pay that much. <laughs> uh, you know, a bathroom. It's yeah. hard to find a bathroom. Yeah. yeah. Or a trash can. Yeah. Now, yeah, last week true. on the show, yeah. speaking of parking, we were talking to a band in Kansas. They would never been to New York. They came to New York, and the first thing that happened to them was a hundred and fifteen dollar parking ticket. So par for the course for those guys. Right. <laughs> right. You know, if you've never been here, you gotta earn your keep. You know, it's <laughs> it's it's forging. Okay. You know, they gotta forge their way. $115 at a time. Yeah, at least. How did you guys come into the city? Uh, just real slowly. We found free parking, but it just took us forever. Did you really find free parking? Uh, for our trailer, yes. But that, we, I mean, we paid for street parking okay. here. Yeah, for the van, we were only paying like nine bucks, I think. That's impressive. Yeah. I was a little nervous, though, because when you said we found free parking, I was like, you might want to go back and check on your van. It might not be there anymore. We might it was have the best buy parking lot. I don't think they <laughs> yeah, checked right. those. <laughs> it might have been a Homer Simpson uh, experience where he gets the boot put on his yes! car and has to drive it Absolutely. that way. Absolutely. You would have just gone for it. So New York is better in theory. Uh, the grass is always greener. From right. Jersey, maybe New York looks awesome. But from New York, you're saying Jersey looks awesome. Yeah, but then as soon as you leave the city, you're like, man, that was a that was a fun time. That's a cool place. I can't wait to go back. You it's know? an enigma. It's a and vicious then, cycle. Yeah, and then you just build it up more and more over the course of the you know next three years. You don't come here, and, <laughs> but it's exciting. It's a, like being up there on that thirty third uh, floor yeah, of man. the Crown Plaza and in, in your sweet hotel. I know, right? That awesome. uh, that we can't afford. <laughs> uh, Spent all the money on parking. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's, that's what happened. That was cool, though. Yeah. I have to admit, New York's been pretty cool, and it's even better than House of Heroes is here. I'm, I'm down. We get to see you guys tonight. I'm excited about that. Let's talk about oh, new yeah. music coming up next. You're watching TVU's Most Wanted. We're here in Times Square with House of Heroes. You guys are going to be playing the Bowery Electric tonight. That's right. Have you ever played there before? Never played there before. We've played the Knitting Factory a handful of times. Never okay. there. Excited about the show? Couldn't be more excited. I've never been there, so I'm excited. That's right, you are. And you know what's interesting? I just saw you at Purple Door, and I actually want to watch you guys play again. So you're doing something, right? I guess we. Good that, job, that's guys. That's one thing Thanks. we got right. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about new music. Touch This Light is actually coming up next. We premiered it last week. It's going to be in at number three this week. That's impressive, right? That's three not, is bad. not bad for a first week. Yeah. It's been tearing it up on Radio U, the song. Lots of people requesting Thanks. it. So how did you guys decide on Touch This Light being the first single? Um, I think that it was kind of a consensus decision with us and the label. Um, it just felt like a song that was uh, great to be the first single. And video-wise, um, I think it ended up looking really, really cool, actually. Yeah. I was kind of surprised. I kind of had low hopes, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Well, it's always good to lower your expectations, that's right? right? That's and then right. be surprised. If you can do that, do it. Yeah. Now, that's not the only song you guys are playing live. You're playing a few new songs live. You've that's been right. playing them for a bit now. How are the fans taking to the new material? It seems like they love it. You can never tell because when you play it, you know, they sit there like... 
just like you know but they're taking it in right you know? right because so they don't know the words you, they can't right, sing along exactly yet. they can't get into it and so they're just taking it all in and so we get done and they're like those new songs are awesome and yeah. we're like well you didn't it you didn't, didn't look like yeah. that way in the crowd right the face that's what you're laughing about i assume yeah it's hard to gauge okay. yeah all right so but you think as far as talking to people they like them they're into them yeah i like them well, thank you. I'm singing along at the shows. Well, you have great I'm taste. I'm in the back. People look at me weird because they're like, how does he know the words of these songs? I'm like, oh, I'm the <laughs> fifth member of the band. No big deal. That's right. That's how it uh, works. Yeah, there's, there's, yeah. I don't have an instrument to play, so whenever you guys want to get me an instrument. Okay. I got a, uh, uh, what's it called? A vibra slap you can use. <laughs> Another thing that is that a real instrument? It is. It goes like this. You okay. I, I want to do that, All really. Right, all right, and I will tell you that uh, at some point when you're walking around and you're seeing people doing the drums with the buckets, you should sit down and challenge them to a duel. I should. I should just steal their bucket <laughs> and say, give me 15% and I'll make you better. <laughs> I'll get you more business. We were in the subway the other day and there was two of them doing it together on different like bucket sets. Is that what you'd call it, a bucket drum set? And they were like picking it up with their feet and using it as like a, a pedal and... Oh, that's awesome. just a gimmick. That's yeah. not good drumming. <laughs> <laughs> so you says the drummer. Now. You know by now they've made enough tips to afford an actual drum. <laughs> <laughs> but they Fine. pretend that they can't and they need your money. All I could afford was this bucket I found. <laughs> that's true, but they have to buy a new drumstick <laughs> yeah. as well because those break all the time, right? So. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So House of Heroes has a new album coming out in July. That's right. What else is coming up until then? Anything? Anything good? Um, you can say no. That's okay. You, there's a lot of things, but I ju we're not at liberty to say because we haven't made them up yet. Okay. So you really don't know if anything's coming up. No. Colin's gonna. Colin's wife's gonna have a kid. Oh, that's and, good. Uh, we're Congratulations. Gonna support support Thank that. You. Thank you. Okay. All right. But everything else is kind of in your head. So it's kind of like New York City. It's cool to look forward to, but you don't actually know what it's gonna be like yet. It's going to be awesome, Jerry. Okay. And so is New York until you get here. I don't know. I'm having a good time this time around. Are you having a good time? I am. I'm, it was a little rainy when we first got here, and that was miserable, but it's yeah. much better now. Now, what if it would have been 72 and sunny with a nice little breeze? Best road trip ever. Oh, my goodness. Seriously. And now I feel like New York City could be better. Thanks for that, Tim. Well, you'll have to come back. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. <laughs> They're like, oh, it's going to be sunny, and you get here, and it's rainy, and you're like, I'll have to come back. All right. All right. So we're into House of Heroes now, in at number three this week. You think you guys get number one next week? Think that's possible? I think if we don't, the, our fans are fired. <laughs> All right, you're fired if you don't vote for it for the <laughs> next week's show. Number three is okay for debut.